electrochemical cells called voltaic cells capture the chemical energy released by redox reactions. Now this chemical energy is captured in the form of moving electrons because moving charge has the potential to do work. From physics, we know that assigning absolute values to electrical potential does not make sense because only changes in electrical potential are measurable. That is why we assign an arbitrary value of zero voltage to the hydrogen electro reaction. So this reduction reaction in which two H plus ions capture electrons, two electrons, and produce a diatomic H gas gets a zero cell voltage. So our volts are zero. Now this E represents our cell voltage. This sign on top, a little zero on top, stands for standard conditions of one molar concentration and at one bar pressure. Now normally these reactions occur at 25 degrees Celsius, but they don't have to. So whenever we conduct these half reactions, we have to make sure that we are on the standard conditions because concentration and pressure both affect our voltage and we'll see in another lecture how exactly they affect our voltage. For now it is sufficient to say that they are affected by the pressure and by the concentration and that is why we need to keep our conditions standard. So this is called a standard hydrogen electrode and it gets E0 of 0 volts. So for example suppose we have a second reaction. So in this reaction this Zn solid is oxidized to Zn2 plus and then releases two electrons. And suppo <coughs> suppose we wanted to find what the cell voltage of this reaction, this half reaction is. The way we do it is the following. We create an electrochemical cell, a voltaic cell, that is composed of two half cells. This half cell holds this reaction, the oxidation reaction. This half cell holds this reduction reaction. Now a slight change was made. Before we only dealt with electrodes that were metallic, they were solid. Now we have an electrode that contains gas. This is a tube that contains H2 gas inside this little tube. And it's allowed to enter from the environment and escape into the environment through these holes. Now this conductor travels all the way from this solid through something called a voltmeter, which we'll talk about in a bit, and all the way down through the tube into this little section here. This section is uh, platinum. It's a metal that basically acts as a catalyst in this reaction. So whenever the charge moves all the way down to this catalyst, this catalyst catalyzes the reaction of the combination of two H plus ions with two electrons. So these electrons combine with these H plus ions found in solution in the form of hydronium ions. They combine to form gas and then this gas escapes into our environment. Now how would we measure the cell voltage of this reaction? Well this voltmeter when the electrons travel from this side to this side will read a certain voltage. Now what will this voltage represent? Well remember, we assign an arbitrary value of zero volts to this hydrogen electrode. And that means whatever this voltage reads, whatever this voltmeter reads, that is our cell voltage. So for this particular reaction actually, our cell voltage should be around 0 0.76 volts. Now we can uh, tabulate the same cell voltages for different metals. Suppose we say copper and we replace the zinc metal with a copper metal. We can calculate the same cell voltage for this copper and so on. And after we calculate all the types of different metals and their respective cell voltages, we can create a table. And this table is called the reduction half reaction table. It stay in the conditions of 25 Celsius, one molar concentration and one bar pressure. Now different temperatures were, will result in different cell voltages. And if you want to find a complete reduction half reaction table, just check a chemistry textbook or look it up online. Now once we find all these values, we can then play around with these equations. 
and we could take one half reaction and mix it with another half reaction and we can calculate the corresponding cell voltage using this formula where this cell voltage corresponds to the cathode and this corresponds to the anode. And this is the final cell voltage. Now if our cell voltage final is positive, that means our reaction is product favored. If it's negative, that means our reaction is reactant favored. So let's see an example using this formula. So let's talk about the following electrochemical cell. Our goal will be to find the cell voltage of our cell. So here we have two half cells. This is our anode. This is our cathode. In this half cell, in the anode, oxidation takes place by definition. In this half cell, in the cathode, reduction takes place. Our reaction begins in the anode. So in the anode, oxidation takes place. In other words, copper solid is oxidized. It loses two electrons and becomes this copper ion. Now this copper ion is released into this beaker. So our concentration of copper ion as our reaction progresses increases in beaker one. The electrons, on the other hand, travel into this conductor and all the way across into this red electrode. Now this red electrode is this guy here. Now when these electrons enter into our electrode, these aqueous guys are taken up and these two guys react within the solid, creating our solid. And that's called reduction. So reduction takes place in the cathode, and anode uh, is the place where oxidation takes place. Now, in order to find the cell voltage of our cell on the standard conditions, we have to look at the standard reduction potential table. And we find the value of the cell voltage for this reduction reaction, and then we find the same value for this oxidation reaction. Now, note that our table shows values for reduction only, and since we want an oxidation as well, we simply use the same magnitude, but flip the signs, so negate it. According to our table, this reduction equation corresponds to 1.5 volts of voltage potential. Now, this guy, on the other hand, corresponds to 0 0.337. Not the oxidation, the reduction, the reverse of this. So to get this reaction to occur, we simply flip the sign. And that's exactly what we do here. So to find our cell voltage, we simply plug these guys in, and we get 1.5 volts of reduction minus Minus comes because we're dealing with oxidation, not reduction. Minus 0 0.337 volts gives us a final cell voltage under standard conditions of one molar concentration and one bar pressure of 1.136 volts. So this is the cell voltage of this reaction. Notice that it's positive. That means the reaction or the net redux reaction is in fact product favored.